Well, good morning again, Facebook fans and YouTube fanners. It is I, Big D, coming to you once again on how to make money being a courier driver. Today, we're going to talk about something that's really important in making money in courier driving. And it's essential for you to be successful. And the question on the screen is, or on the header was, what does American Pickers and courier driving have in common? And if you've ever watched the show, it's going to be self-explanatory. In other words, bundling. You hear Frank and what's his name? Uh, uh, Mike Wolf, I think it is. Frank Fritz, Mike Wolf. And they're always talking about doing the bundle where they put a bunch of stuff together and then offer one price. Okay. Bundling and courier driving, how it works is simple. Um, I'll give you an example. I had to go to Wooster Pike, which is 30 minutes from my house, to pick up the box truck. Well, that cost me money. Whereas I can start a bank route at 4 o'clock and drive down to Wooster Pike and pick up the truck. So what I do is take the bank route, run from there, uh, drive in my vehicle, of course. Uh, 50, 60 miles of it, stop at five places, and drop those over exactly where my truck is sitting, go in and give them the bags, get the bags for the next day, throw them in my uh, vehicle, like my van here, and uh, get in the truck and take it home and go start the route from there. I bundled. $250. There you go. So when you're out there on the road and you're working for a courier company, you want to make sure you let them know. And a lot of people think that they, they assume that the courier company is going to do this. Oh, no, they're not. You have to go in there and you have to talk to the dispatcher, the operations manager, the people in charge, and let them know you're looking for more pieces to that puzzle. So if you can put a piece in here that, uh, you know, you have a route, say, it goes from 10 to noon, and you end up in, say, Cincinnati, okay? And you can pick up... Uh, the next piece that's say 1245 or one o'clock goes for two hours and it goes to this area and you can pick up something near that area or you have time to drive to it and get another piece that goes to this area they may only pay 60 bucks for those couple hours but when you get those three pieces together that's 180 dollars a day guaranteed you're almost at a thousand a week in five days you bundled now, in the other sit time, you can do on demand, grab some stats or whatever they call them, intermediates, uh, hot shots, or whatever you want to call them, and add to it. And as you add to it, you start seeing how bundling makes it profitable. And that's key in this industry to bundle. Everybody, you're not going to get one piece of this puzzle that's going to make you this ton of money. Now, I can honestly say right now that what I'm doing, I've got one piece of the puzzle that's making me a ton of money. Yes, I do. But I specialize in what I do, and that's why I'm here. And when they added the next piece in, well, yeah, I'm almost up to two grand. But, you know, i got to drive 100 miles to pick up the next one when I leave here. Then I go home. So these pieces form together that to make one big hunk of a pie. So if you're going to make it in courier business and local delivery, you must bundle. And the reason I say get one of these kind of like Chevy Expresses, because... I'm doing really well gas mileage. They're easy to maneuver, but you have more opportunities. In other words, you'd be driving along and get a call, hey, you know, you're going to be going by XYZ company here in a minute, and they have 10 boxes, and they're going to fit in your van because they're going to deliver just down the street from you. You're going to drop off. Sure. Pays 20, 30 bucks. You just made 20, 30 bucks for 10 minutes work. That's how local deliveries work. You've got to always think of what you can stick in there to get there and let the dispatcher and the operations manager know you're looking to do it. You want to work. You're not out here to sightsee. If you do that, you can be successful. Most people don't. They don't communicate well. Communication is essential in this business. You've got to tell them what you're looking to do. If you do, you can do very well at this. The problem is people don't. And that's the same thing in expediting. They don't communicate to dispatch very well, and then they get bad results. Well, whose fault is that? It's yours. You didn't tell them, hey, wake me up. I'll take it. I'll do it. You know, 
you don't and a lot of people turn stuff down I'm in the area I'm not gonna turn it down if it only makes me five or six dollars profit for that day I don't care I'm out here I'm gonna make five or six bucks but it also sends a message into that office that I'm willing to do the work and who do you think the first person they call is the person that says yes being a no and being uh, I don't want to do that in fact I know of a guy here uh, it used to be at the other company that you'd call him up with something good it was like yeah I'm right on it but if it was something he didn't like it was uh huh uh huh uh huh that's what he would say uh huh it was kind of funny it's like he couldn't hear you well guess what they just stopped calling him and he just made his like three pieces of 60 and 180 and that's all he got me I have done six figures every year doing this five days a week you can too you just have to learn how and the first thing is it's just like American Pickers bundle till next time stay safe and make money <laughs>